Good morning. My name is Ashley Dory, and I am the Children's Director for First United Methodist Church in Camden, Arkansas. And I'm so glad you're joining me this morning for our children's lesson. So this week we are starting a new unit and um, we're kind of starting over. If you, you may remember um, last September we started in the book of Genesis um, and we're going to kind of do that again. We're going to go back um, and kind of start in Genesis and um, we're going to start talking about um, a family and we're going to be focused on a man named Joseph. And the story we're reading today is about Joseph and his brothers and him receiving a new robe, which actually makes his brothers not very happy. Um, but we're going to continue talking about Joseph for the next couple of weeks in this first unit. Um, so our story today comes from the book of Genesis, and it is chapter 37 verses 1 through 36, um, and I'm going to be reading from the Storybook Bible, and it says, Jacob married and had 12 sons. One of the sons was Joseph. He was Jacob's favorite. Jacob gave Joseph a special robe. None of the brothers had a robe like that. It made the brothers angry. I'm going to kind of pause for a minute. Um, something to note about this robe is that, um, for one, it was expensive, um, and the other brothers knew that. And then also, this robe had long sleeves. And if you think about um, a jacket or a robe and working outside um, in wheat fields, um, it would be very difficult to do if you had on a robe with long sleeves. So this kind of meant that Joseph didn't really need, didn't have to work. As long as he had his robe and he was wearing his robe, he wasn't necessarily required to go out into the fields with his brothers and work. Um, so you can kind of see why that would make them very angry because not only do they not have a robe, like Joseph, um, but now Joseph is just sitting around not having to do the hard work and labor that they're having to do. Joseph's dream made them even angrier. Joseph dreamed that they were bundling grain. Your grain, he said, your grain bundles bowed down to my bundle. I also dreamed that the sun, the moon, and the stars bowed down to me. It means that you will all bow down to me, said Joseph. None of his brothers wanted to bow down to him. Now again, I don't think um, anybody wants to be told to bow down to someone or ask to bow down to someone, um, and especially not your brother or your sister. The brothers went out to the fields to herd the sheep. Jacob sent Joseph to check on them. The brothers saw Joseph and came up with a plan to get rid of him. They took his robe and threw him into a pit until some traveling traders came by. They sold Joseph to the traders and told their dad that Joseph was dead. Let's pray. Dear God, Lord, help me to learn to fight fairly. Amen. So, we are going to be um, continuing to talk about Joseph and his brothers. This is not the end of their story together. Um, and we're going to learn a little bit more about them. And, you know, something I take away from this story, family is so important um, to all of us. Whether we have brothers, whether we have sisters, whether it's we have just grandparents whether we have moms, dads, our family is important. Um, and 
we don't always get along and sometimes we fight and but we have to remember that even when we fight we still love each other and God wants us to love one another and take care of one another so um, just remember that even when you get angry that um, you can pray to God to help you to ease your anger um, and to get along with whomever you are fighting with um, and fighting you know sometimes we get mad and we say things or we do things that we might regret um, you know in this case they sold their brother to traitors um, and I would bet that they're probably going to regret that decision at some point um, and so we don't want to make those bad choices and those bad decisions and regret something that we might say or do um, now like I said we're not done talking about Joseph and his brothers this story is not over and we will continue um, to talk about them and kind of see what happens in their relationship we have a new Bible verse um, and it says I know the plans I have in mind for you declares the Lord they are plans for peace not disaster to give you a future filled with hope and that comes from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 so, and you can take some time and practice that Bible verse, and we'll be doing that um, verse for the next couple of weeks. Um, before we go, I'd like to say a prayer. So if you'll bow your head with me, um, and we'll do that. Dear God, thank you so much for always being with us. Thank you for giving us our families who love us, Help us, Lord, to get along even when we are feeling angry. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, I hope you have a great week of school. Um, I hope it's been going okay for you at uh, this new transition, whether you're face-to-face um, -face or at doing school at home. Um, I hope it's going really well for you. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.